Hi everybody, it's Carol here bringing you a project today. It's a lovely card um, that I've made and it's for my team and inside it says you saw above the rest, congratulations. Um, and I've just made this little something different. So when they open it, that's what they'll see. Right, how have I made it? I have, this is what I've done. I've taken a piece of Watermelon Wonder, which is one of the retiring colours, and I cut the A4 piece in half. What I did then was I lined it up, put my nail here, put that up. I've got a new bone folder because my other one was pretty. Oh, what I turned to my other one. It still works, but I thought for the video it looks nice that I've got a new one. Right, what I did here was I got the corner rounder, I put both corners together and I chopped those off. Get rid of those bits. And then I took a piece of mint macaron and this is measured at ten and a half centimetres by nine and a half, so it just fits nicely. So what I wanted to do was get the watermelon wonder ink and I've used touches of textures stamps so I've used the biggest flower for the watermelon wonder and I've used the dragonfly and I've also used this little one here so the biggest one I just went round and I was randomly stamping. I'm just stamping the edges because I didn't want it to be so bare. There we go. And I think maybe so I'm stamping off. Right, let's get rid of that for a minute. Now, this piece, I've actually used embossing folders. Well, embossing folder. Where have I, where have I put it? Oh, there it is. Hiding under my notes. I've used this embossing folder, Floral Affection. The reason it's in this bag is um, because it's discontinued and it's going in for my um, launch party sale. Um, I give everything away in exchange for people buying new goods. So if you want to come to my launch party on the 31st of May and you live locally, let me know. Um, so I've used this and I've used this one out of here. Um, what I did, I need my big shot. And I've got one of the old plates that you use for embossing. What I've done, I just put it in there like that, lined it all up. There you go. And then don't do that obviously. Line it all up, put it on there. Plate under, put your put that, and then get your other sandwich and put that on the floor and run it through. Okay, and when it comes out, it looks amazing. Let's get rid of all these plates in my tidying up. I've been tidying up for the last couple of days. I found two new. Um, plates which is good right so that's what that looks like now that I've used that I did actually round these four corners as well okay do that okay now what did I do then then I took the smallest one and I took the mint macaron ink and I did the same stamped around just there. it's 
very random but it looks good so we'll get from that then i stamped a little dragonfly i love these little dragonflies I stamped one in the center of black memento ink okay but what i also did before was where's the one i put in guys i'm trying to there it is it's flown away i was trying to find the one that i'd stamped and cut out so you didn't have to watch me cut out and then i couldn't find it so i stamped quite a few of these um because i've been using them quite a lot um and i've been putting using my markers to color them in and then i've been cutting them out so let's see we just need some glue to get this on here like that and then I thought it did look a bit plain so I'll show you what I did with some glitter card I just need a little dot I've stamped it in black underneath so you get more of a shadow effect there you go mm -hmm. throwing the glue at me what I did because I thought it was a bit plain I cut some glimmer paper um, and I'll show you where I got it from I got it from here I've been cutting out letters um, so I took a, a smidging off there and I've taken a smidging off here so never throw this away because you can get so much out of this so this is what I got out of that piece another piece so I just chop it there and then do the same doesn't have to be exact there you go and then what I did was I just run this where I want it to be lined it up there you go do the same Now, because we like glitter and glimmer so much, we're going to get our clear Winker Stella. We're painting the dragonfly all over. I don't know if you can see all that glitter coming out. Right. Hopefully you can see. Now for the inside, all I did for the inside was I've got a little bit of mint macaron card left. Where I put it, I have no idea. There it is. Right. And all I did was get my trimmer and I just half an inch and I scored that's all I did because that's what you're going to glue to your card and that's the sentiment what I did was I rounded those corners just to keep consistency I've used black memento ink and this time I've used a stamp set Ooh, there's the stamp I've used a stamp set from Lift Me Up and it's you saw above the rest. Congratulations. So bring that up. There you go. I think it's meant to be on a slant. And then just get some tear and tape or some Tombow, whichever you like. Card where you want it to be. There. Okay. And 
that is my card so make sure you go and buy everything you want to from the retired list because once it's gone I'm afraid it's gone I hope you've enjoyed my card today take care bye Thank you.